Greetings all, Devious Monkey here. I've been getting a lot of questions about the various plating and quick release type stuff that I use. All my little tripody things, you know I always use the same stuff. So I thought that I would go through those and show you what I use. What I used to use back when I was just a photographer were these quick release by Manfrotto. And I had these plates on everything that all my tripods, which I didn't have a lot of back then. And then it, it has this plate on the bottom here. So you just stick the, the quick release plate in there and boom. And now it's locked. It isn't going anywhere. And these things are sturdy. Problem is, is that they're also incredibly heavy. So this on top of everything else that I had, it made it pretty heavy, but that was mostly for the photography stuff. Then when I started to get into videography, and this is back in the days before mirrorless cameras and hybrids and all that stuff. So I was literally using camcorders and then I had a big professional size uh, camcorder type camera. And Manfrotto had these, which are bigger. The plate is much bigger. And you used to put this on the bottom of your gigantic camcorder and then it just slides in and boom, now it locks into place. Big difference in size, huh? So that's what I was using. Then we come up to now where I have converted everything over from the Manfrotto style to the Arca Swiss style. And there are no shortage of things that I have for that. Most of the stuff that I use though is the small rig stuff. This is like a quick release clamp and it takes pretty much any Arca style plate. It just slides in there and then boom, you lock it down. I decided early on that what I really liked were, and you know it, I've showed it to you a thousand times, is that Peak Design Quick Release Plate. Uh, I think they call it a standard plate. And that's on all my devices. Now, you can see here that I have I have small rig. This is the, the, like the small, the mini size Quick Release. And I have that on like so many devices, it's not even funny. And, and I'm not even bringing all my stuff out because there's just too much. So I put those on everything. And then, like for instance, on this Insta 361R, I've got the Peak Design plate on my GoPro setup. I have another Peak Design plate on my A6600. I have another quick release plate. And the reason I like these is because they're square. So that means it will slide into any of these other archetype things either this way or that way. And you don't have to mess around with the plates because if you have one of these rectangular plates that you put on here, then you can only slide it in one way with a, unless you go in here and unloosen it, and put it back on and slide it the other way. And that makes it a pain in the ass. And remember, I'm lazy. So I want to have things as quick and as easy as possible. And since I have I've shown you what, like one, two, three, four, five, like five different tripod type pieces of equipment, that all take that, it's very simple then. I can put the GoPro on it. I can put the One R on it. I can put my A6600 on it. You know, and any other camera that I've ever had, I put those quick release plates on there by Peak Design so that I can do that. When you go back into this, this Big Me and Frodo piece, this, I have one of these on my dashboard now. So on the bottom, it has all these cutouts and everything. And I didn't want to tape directly to that. So I cut out that phone case old phone case in the shape of this and adhered that to it with all that sticky gorilla shit. And then on the bottom of that, I lined the entire bottom with the hook and loop stuff. And then I put that down on the dashboard. So I had a bigger surface area flat on the dashboard. And then on this plate, I have one of these. And that's, that's that, uh, it's basically just an Arca clamp. And I have one of those just screwed down into the screw on the plate so that when I slide it in there, now it has an attachment point for the Arca plate to go into. It just makes it really simple. I only use this one because I had a bunch of them laying around and it seemed to me to give more surface area to connect down onto the dashboard so that it was nice and flat. And then I can put it on any of these small rig paint things or I can use any number of these because I have these little things. I have a bunch of these too. So right now I have the ZV-1 with the Peak Design plate slid into one of these that's on my switch pod. I just put this all together now, and I also put the, you know, because there's something at the bottom, I have a bunch of these laying around too. 
but that goes onto the bottom of the selfie stick for the 360. Now I, it comes on and off. It's within the width or however you want to describe it. It's basically in line with the camera and the, and the case that's around it so that if I had the 360 module on here, you wouldn't be able to see this. That's why I went with that really thin little piece there. All this stuff comes together to make it very convenient for me to switch onto any of these devices. And behind me over here, I got my other tripod and that's what has the center rig on it. The center rig is sitting on another one of these. And I do have the smaller plate that goes on top of this, that goes down to there, so that it all slides together, all nice and neat. So plates, plates, and more plates, and more quick releases, and this, that, and the other things. But there is method to my madness. It's taken me how many years? 15, 20 years? To get to a point where I finally found stuff that works well. It's all seamless, and it makes things super duper easy for me to attach to any of my devices. All that shit goes together. I'm going to show you one more thing. I really love small rig if you couldn't tell. And this is one of their phone holders. So basically it, it angles up. You can put it at any angle. Basically you stick it in there. It slides to accommodate that. And then the little feet at the bottom go out this way so that it makes it nice and sturdy. And then you can angle it any way you need to angle it. That was my iPhone 12 mini. Here's my iPhone 8 Plus. Again, you can do this in any orientation and you can put it at pretty much any angle. And these, when you put them together, if you can see the little wings on the side here, that also, big surprise, slides into any of these archetype plates. So you see, method to the madness. Sometimes the monkey uses his brain and it all comes together for a seamless and easy transition for any of my cameras onto any of my tripod holder type devices. I have linked to these things dozens of times throughout my videos. You'll find them in there somewhere. Obviously I don't have a problem completely reinvesting in different systems, which I've done over the past 20 years to find something that works great for me. Thank you, small rig. Thank you, Peak Design. You finally got me where I've wanted to be all these years. That is all I've got for you today. Just a real quick rundown of all the stuff that I've got and how I connect it all so that you can go out there and get it all too. If you have any questions, by all means, ask away. As always, thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe, and all that shit. And remember, kids, forward and up.